So as you may already know, I play quite a bit of tier 5 Kudra, and currently in the last phase of Kudra, the gear I'm using is my 3 fourths Infernal Terror with my Warden Helmet. Now the Terror Armor is honestly fine, I, I really don't think I'm going to upgrade it much more past what it's at right now, especially because the last time I even touched my Terror Armor, well um... <laughs> Yeah, let's just say it was not too, too good of a day for my purse. See, so yeah, I'm not really too, too pressed about making any upgrades to my terror armor. But my warden helmet, on the other hand, well, yeah, I think it's time I replace it. Because literally, like, everyone I play with is out here running around at Mach 4 billion with their crimson helmets, dealing, like, quadrillions of DPS. And I'm sitting over here, barely reaching, like, 0.2 miles an hour. It, you know, it's just really not a good situation to be in. So that's why today, I'm going to be getting myself a 1010 Infernal Crimson Helmet. And yeah, test it out against my Warren helmet and uh hopefully it's gonna be better because if not i'm just gonna waste like 600 million on it so well yeah in short terms i'm gonna be spending copious amounts of coins for like a 0.5 percent stat boost also i just want to say real quick that currently i'm in a race with my absolute giga chad rival future 77 we're currently racing each other to see who can hit 30 000 subscribers first and as of right now we have lagged behind quite a bit in the race as you can clearly see here so yeah subscribing and liking would really really help me at a ton of marries to beat him and anyways onto the video all right so it's kind of hard to explain exactly what happened but in basic terms i was looking at this dom 10 vitality 10 terror helmet that was on the ah but i was actually in the middle of kudra so i could finish getting the teeth for the helmet so yeah i was just planning on buying the 1010 helmet after we finished the runs until of course a friend of mine with six billion coin purse threatened to buy it instead of me because he also needed one so yeah i ended up having to ask my party for a bit of downtime so i could buy it before my friend could all right so first order of business we're gonna go ahead and buy a 1010 helmet from my good sir he, bro those slimes are actually so incredibly annoying also i just realized he he actually has infernal hollow bro i've never seen a set of infernal hollow in my entire life what and oh bro what is what is this these where are the slimes oh are they below oh i think they're oh they are down here he said 250 mil here we go boys dom 10 vitality 10 give me this uh, TY, TY very much, my good sir. There we go, we got the helmet now. I mean, obviously, I still need to, like, actually buy the, uh, I still need to, like, actually buy the, uh, the Dominance Vitality Crimson Helmet, so I can actually put this on. But yeah, for now, we got it here. Let me go ahead and, uh, let me go ahead and slap that in my e-chest just so I don't lose it. Alright, anyways, yeah, back to getting the teeth now. B bro, there's actually no way. Bro, the... <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, not only did I just, uh, that I just finished getting all the Kudra teeth I need, but I also just dropped exactly what I need, a Dominance Vitality Crimson Helmet. There's actually no way that just happened. Bro, actually, what are the odds of that happening? I'm... <laughs> What? Well, uh, yeah, I, I guess I got everything I need now. So yeah, let's just go ahead and grab out all the Kudra teeth here, along with the heavy pearls. And actually, real quick here, I want to go ahead and just unlock the gemstone slots. And I am just going to go ahead and take these two perfect jaspers out of my Necron boots. Because honestly, I really just do not even play dungeons much anymore. And with the current price of jaspers, yeah, bro, the, literally 40 mil per. Earth. Yeah, I ain't spending 80 mil on jaspers. So yeah, we can just take those out of my Necron and instead and throw them in the helmet here all right perfect there we go and yeah anyways now it's time to go ahead and finally get this helmet infernal so yeah enjoy the montage Okay, but for real though, these montages actually take so incredibly long to edit, and it's literally so much pain having to watch my purse die like 50 times over. So yeah, it would just really, really mean a lot to me if you guys could at least consider liking and subscribing. Well, there we go, boys. That was so much pain, especially because, uh, especially because look at Crimson Essence, bro. Literally this one piece cost me, what was that even? Yeah, that took 350 million coins for one single piece and it literally has like absolutely nothing on it but i do gotta say actually this helmet actually looks extremely extremely drippy yeah i absolutely love the texture for the infernal crimson helmet and infernal terror helmet is actually not too terrible either anyways i'm gonna go ahead and like actually put everything else on this so uh, yeah once again enjoy the montage well, there it is, boys. I'm not actually sure if Strong Mana or Ferocious Mana is better. So I just put Ferocious Mana 6 on for now. I think Strong Mana might be better considering I have a... Uh, considering I have Ferocious Mana on my Terror here. But anyways, final thing we need to do. Attribute Transfer, Dominance 10, Vitality 10. Also, I just realized I technically could just make an Infernal Terror Helmet if I wanted to. But yeah, no, Infernal Crimson Helmet is definitely going to be better. All right, here we go. 2 mil. In three, in two, in one, 
Bang, there it is boys dom 10 vitality 10 infernal crimson helmet oh dude that actually looks so beautiful already so i was literally just about to go test the helmet against my warden helmet and stuff when uh this happened hold up yeah young literally just messaged me and said when infernal helmet hold up go to your island we got i gotta flex on him boys i gotta flex on him right. <laughs> he said he said lol wait yeah my bro my he was saying when infernal helmet I, i'm pretty sure yeah mine is definitely a bit better than his <laughs> i just said anyways get flexed on yeah he's been flexing on me about how i don't have an infernal helmet and how i'm still using a warden helmet so yeah you know i, I just i had to get i mean that's not really even the reason i i got this helmet still but i mean still i guess it is another plus to getting this helmet here Alrighty, anyways now i want to go ahead and actually test this here against my uh, against my warden helmet Helmet. Also, I need to get this. Bro, I literally, I don't understand it. Can somebody explain to me why my training dummy literally disappears every like five seconds? Bro, I don't know what's happening to it. Literally every time I look away for like five seconds, it's just gone. Okay, but anyways, G-Drag, One Bill Bank, Claymore, Warren Helmet, Three Fourths Terror. Uh, those aren't the most balanced stats in the world, but you, you know what? It's fine. And we're doing one point like... Yeah, like 1.32 million damage-ish. And then moment of truth here, Crimson Helmet, 10-10, Infernal. And I'm doing eh, like 1.2. 25. Yeah, so it is like ever so slightly less damage, at least with a claymore that is. Yeah, with term I'm doing like 600 and oh uh, yeah, like 630-ish K a hit. And then with my crimson helmet, I'm doing like uh yeah, like 622. Okay, yeah, so it's pretty much like very, very similar damage. I mean it's pretty much like the exact same essentially. Plus with crimson helmet, I get the speed, vitality. And I get, like, quite a bit of extra EHP from it. Especially, it's going to be really good in the last phase of Tier 5 Kudra. Which is actually what I'm going to go ahead and test it out against first here. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and harass a few people on my friends list. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and ask a few people on my friends list if they want to do Tier 5 Kudra with me. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Alrighty, here we go. We're in a Tier 5 here. Bro, I still absolutely hate how they remove strong arm. Or, I mean, I guess they didn't, like, remove strong arm. I don't know. They, they just fixed it so you can't pull supplies to the ground. And it is actually incredibly annoying. But I have gotten somewhat used to it. So, it's not the worst thing in the entire world. All right, well, that was an incredibly scuffed build, but it, it's fine. At least we got it behind us now. All righty, here we go, boys. Swapping into the Infernal Crimson Helmet here. Oh, bro, I can already tell this is so beautiful. Actual speed. This is absolutely amazing, even though I don't even have my proper DPS set up on, but it's fine. I have, like, actual speed. Look at this. This is incredible. Plus, my DPS is, like, I mean, pretty much the exact same. Plus, I get speed, vitality, and EHP. This is absolutely incredible. Incredible. And absolutely nothing. You love to see it. I guess Man of Vampire 5 is not terrible. And especially with the price of Crimson Essence now, it actually isn't too, too terrible of profit. But yeah, bro, that speed is just absolutely incredible. And honestly, like with the vitality and speed, I should hopefully be able to keep Dominance active like most of the time. Oh, and I'm out of arrows. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, Vanquisher W. A W's 1.45 billion damage. Also, yeah, I, I am nicked if you're wondering. Uh, yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a screenshot right there. Holy, that is, um... <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, Inferno actually goes kind of crazy because like, I don't know what it is, but at least with my setup, it does like quite a bit more damage over Fatal Tempo against the Magma Boss. So yeah, that that's that's a thing, I guess. But yeah, almost 1.5 billion damage. That ain't too terrible, man. But I remember the days when my peak was like 700 mil on the Magma Boss. Anyways, abrupt cutoff time.